Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. It's very, very nice to have you along here today. Um, before I start the shave and showing you what I'm using today, I just want to talk a little bit about the, the sweat shaving community that we're all part of. Um, earlier in the week, I received a, a package in the mail. Now, someone had contacted me after seeing me use one of the soaps um, in a shave. It wasn't a company, just an individual. And they said, I have another um, scent of this particular brand of soap, which I'm not going to tell you about because I want to use it in a, another video um, and I'll explain all about it then. Uh, and they said it doesn't agree with their skin, so can they pass it on, kind of pay it forward, piff it to me. And I said, that, that sounds great, um, I'd love to try it and stuff like that. So the package came in the mail and in the package was not just the soap, but lots of other little products that um, that I want to show you in another video but um, I'm going to talk about that as I say in another video then in the mail today I got another package from the States um, now, as you know there's people comment on my videos um, but there's one guy called Alex Alexander De Leon is his YouTube name and he contacted me well actually he comments on the videos and we got chatting about our shared love of music and sound production and guitars and stuff like that and obviously in shaving as well um, but he sent me something I didn't ask him to send me it but he sent me something in the mail and it came today and I just can't believe I just wanted to express my gratitude to this whole wet shaving community and how friendly um, generous uh, just a great bunch of guys as I'm sure you know recently with a, the the Rob Frank fund um, a, a huge amount of money was donated um, for that which um, I'm sure we're all thankful for but Alex sent me this package and I got it today and inside I just can't believe his generosity thank you so much Alex so some of the products today uh, I'm going to be using um, from Alex's package so with that being said, let's get to the day shave. The razor today is the Merker 34C HD, Old Faithful. And inside there I have a Kai blade, and it's the second use on that blade. And the soap I'm going to be using today is, um, this was from Alex, and it's this. Stash Soapworks Maxwell. Um, Stash Soapworks um, is Erica Lynn, uh, Erica Lynn, Erica Salmon's and Nicole's shaving shop. Uh, they have an Etsy store there doing um, lots of shaving stuff, shaving products, soaps and aftershave balms and stuff like that. And it's Stash Soapworks. And this one is called Maxwell. And the story behind this soap is um, Erica's nephew called Maxwell, is uh, six years old and he has autism. Um, and you can imagine the, the struggles that go along with that. Um, he goes to, he has the help of special therapists and schools and stuff like that. Um, so 20% of all sales of Maxwell products from Stash Soapworks are being donated to the Autism Society, which I think is a very, very generous thing to do. So this is the soap. Uh, Maxwell and it's got a nice design with the uh, Batman and Superman logos and this is lavender spearmint orange tangerine bergamot and sandalwood and there's the soap there it's um it's not a hard soap but it's not a soft soap I can kind of press my finger into it the scent on it is <laughs> Amazing! Lavender, spearmint, orange, tangerine, bergamot and sandalwood. And you can pick them all out. I get um, the orange and tangerine. Yeah, very, very nice. So I'm going to be using that today. Uh, the brush today, again, <laughs> thank you Alex. Uh, he sent me this in the package and it's this. Satin Tip, the purest. Uh, I'm sure some, some of you guys will know about this brush. It comes in this little tube lovely packaged and comes in a little bag like that and there's the brush there and uh, I have it in this black it's a synthetic knot 
and it has this lovely uh, rubberized handle which feels amazing, really nice to hold, very very comfortable, um, satin tip the purest, yeah, and it's, it's, it does have a, quite a, a good backbone, so that's the brush I'm going to be using today. Um, with that being said, I'm going to start the shave with the Prorasso pre-shave because I haven't bloomed this soap, I just wanted to um, just use it as it is. So I'll get to applying the Prorasso pre-shave and we'll come straight back. Okay, that's the pre-shave rubbed in. Uh, I'm just going to put the brush in the water, just to get some moisture in it, and then we'll get to lathering up the soap. And straight away, look, it's uh, creating a nice lather. Just loading the brush and the scent's really popping out now. The uh, citrus, um, orange and tangerine. Uh, it says spearmint too, but yeah, a little bit of spearmint. But um, yeah, just <laughs> the generosity of this uh, wet shaving community is something else. Uh, just uh, dipping the tips of the brush there just to get a bit more moisture in it. It looks like quite a thirsty soap. <laughs> Flying all over the place. Okay. That looks like we got a nice load on there. So we get to lathering up the face. Wow. That brush does feel nice. Very soft. Nice backbone. Very nice. Very nice backbone actually. I'm just going to dip the tips just a little bit again. Yeah, I think you get this um I think you get this brush with uh white and the, the bristles in white uh, as well as the black bristles but um, Alex got me it in black and it looks cool very nice, feels very nice on the face yeah great, nice backbone and this is a nice lather from the Stash Soapworks Maxwell beautiful scent as well I'm getting um, mostly citrus here, but a little bit of lavender, yeah. Nice lather. Okay. Mercury 34C. The Kai Blade. How is everyone? Are you well? Good. Nice to hear it. And um, this is uh, the July the 4th weekend in the States. People celebrating. How do you celebrate um, your 4th of July? Yeah. Let me know in the comments because um, 
In the UK, we don't have we don't have any kind of celebrations like that. Um, we have St Andrew's Day in Scotland and Burns Night for the uh, Rabbi Burns, the, the Scottish poet. We have that in January and St Andrew's Day is in November and St George's Day for England is in April. Um, but we don't have anything as big as um, Independence Day or Thanksgiving. Nothing like that. Nice, um, nice protection from the soap. Nice cushion on it, actually, it's um, very nice. And again, no pressure. Someone commented on my one of my videos saying um, if I preferred the longer handle of the Progress or the shorter handles on like the, the 34 C and stuff like that. To be honest, I like them all. Although the Progress is a, a nice handle Personally for me, because I've got quite big hands, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's quite a, um, it feels quite nice in the hand. Okay, first pass done, nice, nice reduction. Okay, I'm just going to rinse off and I will come straight back. Okay, back for pass number two, with the lovely satin tip and the stash soap works, Maxwell, nice. Wow, that is a nice brush. It feels as soft as the um, Plisson, but it has a touch more backbone. Well, quite a lot more backbone, actually. And the handle is very nice, very comfortable to hold. Um, it's got, with that rubberized kind of grip, it um, doesn't make it Slippy in the hand, just nice. I'm hopefully going to film uh, part one of the shaved end tour sometime next week. I think I'm going to split it up into soaps and creams and and then maybe uh, after shaves. And brushes, stuff like that, because I don't want it to be too long for you good people. Okay, pass number two, very nice, across the green. Lovely soap, nice slickness. Yeah, what I'll do um, at the end, if I remember, I'll show you guys the ingredients of the soap because I know some of you, I like to see it up, the, uh, the ingredients. So what I'll do at the end of this pass, 
Um, I'll edit it. I'll edit it in later. Edit it in. Edit it in. Edit it in. Sounds like a train. I'll edit it in later. I'll edit it in. <laughs> I must say the 34C is such a comfortable razor to use. It's not too aggressive and it's not too mild. It's just um just really nice. Hello to my new subscribers. This part down here is Kevy Shaves' trouble spot. I always get irritation here, and I know I say it quite a bit, but in case you're new to watching me, I only ever go this way down here because in the past, I've had a lot of problems with this area. So until my skin, until my soft Scottish skin, um, thickens up and toughens up. <laughs> I'll always shave across that way there. Oh, someone, um, who was it? What's his name? Was it, was it Shavathon? Was it Shavathon? I can't remember. It might have been Shavathon. Someone su um, <laughs> suggested watching uh, these videos with the captions on. You know how YouTube provide captions? But because of my Scottish accent, uh, the people are obviously guessing what I'm saying. <laughs> Some of the words come out <laughs> like really crazy. Wow, that feels superb. What a scent from that soap. It's amazing. Really nice. Really, really nice scent. Okay, past two done. I'm just going to rinse off and I'll show you the ingredients of the soap. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Okay, pass number three. Oop. Lather flying all over the place. This is a nice little brush. Very nice. If I've not said it before, thank you, Alex. <laughs> My goodness. This soap is flying all over the place. Ah, well, it's just an old t-shirt for shaving in, so... Who cares? The messier, the better. That means you're having fun. <laughs> and I see, um... That Douglas Smythe put up that the PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, have at last got the Prorasso Red aftershave splash in stock which is great for you guys in the states I think you, you've kind of waited long enough it's been available here for a, a few weeks excellent uh, yes really really nice okay Stash Soap Works is a really nice soap this Maxwell very very nice third pass against the grain And again, no pressure at all. Uh, I was getting the feedback on that, and I'm going against the green. using the Paul H technique there where he 
he comes in straight and then as he gets closer to the middle kind of angles the angles the razor up and his um, Paul's latest video where he showed off the the old spice stuff he's bought it looks amazing some nice old vintage bottles I think he's got enough now to last him um, I think he's got enough for the whole of Wales actually enough old spice <laughs> but it looks super cool some of the some of the old bottles he's got Yeah, so July the 4th, what do you guys do? Is it just like a food? Obviously it's a big celebration in the States, but let me know how you celebrate it. Okay, that's a third pass done. Wow, very nice. A couple of little bits just to pick up. Not much at all. Very smooth, very comfortable. Okay, I'll just rinse off and I will come straight back. Okay, we're back. Yeah, there's a couple little bits I just want to pick up, but um, let's see how much soap's left. Quite enough. So I'm just going to apply it and just um, any bits I want to get closer, I'll do that. There's still a lovely scent on this soap. Okay. Okay, that feels pretty good. Just gonna rub the rest of the soap in, have a rinse off with some hot and then cold water and I'll come back for the bow shave. Okay. Wow. What a nice um what a nice post shave feel. Very, very smooth. Almost feels like there's a balm already on my face. Very nice. Okay, some um, Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel because there's uh, lavender in the soap. Shake. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Mmm. When that's drying, we will go over what we've used again. What we've used. It's just me and you. You right, right there. <laughs> okay, we started off with the Parasso Red pre-shave. Wonderful, wonderful product. Um, the razor today was Trust the Old Faithful, the Mercur 34CHD. And that had a Kai blade in it, and the second use on that blade. The brush today, a fantastic, actually the first time I've used it and this was in the Alex De Leon box, um, was the Satin Tip, Satin Tip the purest and this is the one with the black bristles. Um, yeah, beautiful little brush and very nice, nice backbone, very good, really enjoyed it. Lovely handle, nice to hold, really good. Uh, the soap today was the magnificent Maxwell from Erica Salmon's and Nicole's Stash Soap Works. Um, that was a really excellent product, lathers nice, nice protection throughout the shave. Um, yeah, just a really nice soap and all proceeds, well 20% sorry, not all proceeds, 20% of these Proceeds from the Maxwell products will be going to the Autism Society, which is a, a very, very worthy cause. 
and that's Maxwell Stash Soap Works. Great soap, beautiful scent. Um, let me just read the scent again. It's a lavender, spearmint, orange, tangerine, bergamot and sandalwood. Fantastic. Really good. Okay, I'm just going to apply some Nivea Sensitive Poche Balm. Just a drop of that. That's nice. Some of the moisture back on. Uh, I've got a couple of little weepers. I've got one here and one here. I didn't actually feel them, they're not cut, so um, very nice. Okay, just let me wipe my hands. And we're going to finish it off with some, Alex actually sent me this as well, the Stash Soap Works Maxwell Aftershave. Now you can get it in, um, you can get it in this pump dispenser or you can get it with a, a restrictor flow cap. And I'll just show you the, the um, ingredients in this. Not really much in it at all, which is a good thing. There you go. And... Um, yeah, am I going to spray this on or am I just going to spray it on my hand and then apply it? I think I'll just spray it on my face and then rub it in. Okay, here goes. Very nice. No sting at all. And a wonderful scent. Of lavender it was a lavender spearmint orange tangerine bergamot and sandalwood yeah you definitely get the orange and tangerine um, and as it's drying in it's got a fantastic face feel really nice yeah a nice scent a nice uh, citrusy quite a, a, a zingy citrusy scent very nice just like the soap Really nice scent. Not sure how long it'll last. Um, only time will tell. But it feels fantastic. <sighs> yeah, nice. Nice shave. Nice shave. Nice products. Brilliant friends. What more could you ask for? <laughs> uh, that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for watching. And if you're still here, <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate your support. Uh, keep the comments coming. Some of them are fantastic. I, I really like um, some of the questions that people ask. Uh, just really, really good. Um, so keep them coming. And once again, I'd just like to say big thank you to Alex for sending me these products. And um, yeah, Erica Salmons with the, the Stash Soapworks. Please check her out. I'll put the link to the to her uh, Etsy store, I think it is in the description. So go and check it out. Um, yeah, very good. Really enjoyable shave. Nice and comfortable. Very nice. Still feels great. Great face feel. Beautiful scent. Okay. Until the next time. Uh, we'll see you soon. And look after yourselves. Have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your July the fourth celebrations. July the fourth. Fourth of July. Potatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes whatever. <laughs> okay, have a nice time, have a great weekend, spend it with the ones you love and uh, enjoy yourself. Okay, we'll see you soon. Take care.